On this video, we are using JRC like this and we're going to operate function pertaining to chart scaling and information layer. First thing we're going to do is scrolling and zooming chart including determining the current scale of display chart and setting the display to a particular scale. So to zoom the chart, you can see on the upper left corner the scroll button if you want to zoom in just press in and if you want to zoom out just press out for example you zoom it out totally you want to bring it back to a proper scaling you can go back to proper scaling by pressing this display the original or display the chart on the original scaling this button Just press there you go but if you want to see it clearly you can zoom it in again then if you want to display the chart on the original scaling just press this Next thing is to select correct. Uh, oh, sorry. Next thing is to select the display base and standard display. This is very popular. You can see it on the upper left corner again. We have an option for display base, an option for display standard, option for display all objects on the chart, and of course the custom where you choose all the object that you only need to show on the chart so let's see so this is the base this is the standard if you want to show all of the object you can press all and again for custom is only the selected items under the chart display setting where can you find in view one then press next just tick all of the layers that you want to show it on the chart while you are monitoring the transit and to show next is to show the layers or the legend general information so as I've showed you again I will repeat just click show chart display setting then chart display then the view option will pop out you can press view one before it was like this then just press next then you can see or all of the layers that you need or you selected to be indicated on the chart so those are the legends the next is to show how to select information about an object for example, on this chart, you can see that symbol. You want to know about that symbol. Use the mouse or cursor, then press right click, then cursor pick. Then press left click, and the pick report will go into pop out. So this uh, symbol indicates that it is a pilot boarding place. If you're going to press that, it will go into highlight which is that object. For example, nautical publication information, you want to click that or show it which one is that. It will indicate on the chart the highlighted. Let's uh, zoom it out in order for us to show. So this shaded area is the nautical publication information. If you want to press nautic or navigational system of marks, so it's the same. So that is how we select information about the object. Next is to show how to select information about, or sorry, in, uh, to show what marine information overlay are available and how to access them. Now the overlay that we have commonly on ECDIS is the radar overlay. Now to do that, 
you need to have a radar which is compatible with JRC Ectis and to overlay the radar you need to go to left middle part of the monitor you can see a synchronization button here turn on and off fruit synchronization you need to press that then you can go to the radar which is also a JRC also on the left middle part of the radar there's a synchronization button there you can press that so you can see that the radar overlay is at your own ship it can also detect the targets and it will also give you an information about the target on the right side but on here we are we can use the AIS it can also overlay here by using lower left menu then press AIS then highlight so if you're going to highlight for example some targets here but as of now we don't have a target it will show the information about the highlighted ship on the Ectis the next is to show how to view or add edit or delete mariners information to do that we're going to menu again press menu then go to user chart then file operation in file operation there are some files already made so we go new so the new file is named as user map so we need to change this for example this one is ours so make it 2024 August then enter so we have 2024 August so click that then edit user chart so in here we can see the type of mariners information that we can make we have text we have symbols we have lines we have areas so let's try areas for example on your passage plan you want to put an area here just click those areas that you want to highlight then click right click to end the areas now the properties are indicated here including the position for example you want to make a for example a circle for emergency anchorage you want it to put here just click here there you go and if you want to make a text for example text just click text and just mark it here If you want to choose color, you want to choose color, for example, magenta. And the information, type of information. So you can type on the keyboard. I'm going to use the keyboard. You may also use this uh, window here. Emergency. And curious, for example, press enter. So you can see here the message that you type. Now the file that you use is the file at the user chart file operation 2024 August is your file. So if you're not going to use this you need to unclick the file for example this one 
because this one is at the display now it's on editing so if you don't want this you need to untick the display here okay so you don't if you don't want to show it on the chart you need to untick this one okay but if you want you can take it again so that's it so that's how we operate function pertaining to chart scaling and information layers